With the end of 2023 in sight, I ventured out for a final hike and wild camp atop Sheffield Pike in the Lake District. Join me on a wet adventure of calamity as my day descends into ruin. This place is cool. Here's me in the Lake District, just before the turn of 2024, embarking on a hiking adventure <laughs> that didn't really go as I planned. <laughs> So I'm in the I'm in the Lake District at the moment. I'm just on my way to Glenridding, and I thought I'd take a certain path up from Ambleside through Glenridding, and it just takes me through all of these hills, all of these fells. And yeah, they're pretty they're pretty like frosty, pretty frosty at the top. My plan was solid: a four-hour drive to Glenridding, a small village bordering Ulswater, for a five-mile hike and a wild camp atop Sheffield Pike. I checked the weather a few days before the hike and everything seemed pretty good. You know, there's gonna be like a little bit of rain, but yeah, it was gonna be good. This was my golden opportunity for a final hike of 2023. As miserable as the weather was, I drove towards the village and I was still determined because I could still see snow in the peaks and the hills. So I pressed on. Upon reaching Glen Ridding, excitement mingled with a lingering doubt that I probably made a bad decision. I, d <laughs> I didn't know what to do at the moment. Uh, it's raining a lot. Um, in the peaks, in the actual like tips of like the mountains and so forth, they're quite, they're a little bit snowy, a little bit white and frosty, which is nice. I'm just trying to think if I do wild camp up there. Because um, what I might try and do is I might try and do the hike, get up to the peak, Sheffield Pike. I'll check it out, scout it, see what it's like, get wet in the process. But there's also a campsite just down the road, so I might book in there. So I'll go up, do Sheffield Pike, and then come back down and then set up camp. Just because this is like my first proper, proper winter sort of hike. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be caught out and I just want to make sure that I'm safe. So, yeah. I mean, I could, it's quite, quite waterproof at the moment. I've just tried to book in uh, the local campsite, which is, I don't know, 300 meters down the road that way. And um, it didn't say on their website, but they don't, um, they don't accept bookings currently, like for tents anyway. Which I I, th I just I just think that's stupid because like all I need is just a field, a grass field, <laughs> just to pitch a tent. But what they did do instead is recommend me another campsite, which is a tiny bit of a drive, maybe like a two or three minute drive down the road. And there's a pub right next to it, so that's gonna be good. <laughs> uh, um, but for some reason, can get this, get this. <laughs> to pitch my tent <laughs> in a field. It's going to cost me £27. <laughs> so before I pay for this, I don't know what I should do. <laughs> because this weather is absolutely awful. So it might just be Harry goes camping to a local campsite and goes to the pub. Ugh. <laughs> uh... Everything I planned has gone out the window. Not that one. <laughs> uh, a different window. Yeah, I wanted to wake up to, to beautiful vistas and, and snow. But I don't know, I just can't be bothered to walk in this rain. It's just heavy and depressing. Like, I wouldn't mind it if it was not raining and then it started raining when I was up there. That's fine. But what I could do is I can have a walk around. Um, I can have a walk around here. I can take you to the lake as well. Um, yeah, I guess it would just be Harry's little adventure to the lakes with a plan that fell through. <sighs> Harry shambles. So I've decided that I'm gonna try and get up the hill or at least as much of it as I can. So I've left the car and yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, say, I'm just gonna see where this day takes me because I have no idea what the plan is anymore. Um, got a sign here for the footpath to Helvellyn, 
by Greenside Mine. That's the way I need to go. So yeah, just gonna, just gonna follow that. When I was heading towards the pike, I realized that my waterproofs in that moment are no longer waterproof. And so reality hit hard and I made the decision to abandon the hike. I had limited time and a campsite to get to. I've only got about three hours. I would need to go. There's that hill there. And then there's a kind of middle one in between. And then just to the left of that, you've got um, Sheffield Pike. And from here, it looks absolutely huge. And to be honest, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time now. I've had to faff around with getting a campsite sorted. And yeah, I've, it's just it's just the rain. It's just the rain. It's just so sapping. Yeah, you're an idiot. This hike essentially just wasn't going to plan. And I kind of feel that I should have just probably stayed home. But could I salvage some adventure? That was my hope. And it's like, if I can just book a campsite that's literally in the valley over there, that promises me flat ground. I just know that I'm going to sleep better there than being on a hill in the wind and the rain and probably just, I don't know, just end up feeling more, or just, well, just end up miserable and cold and so forth. But I suppose for me, this is just my own, my own lesson. Although to be fair, the weather was looking fine. The weather was looking all right. Well, the Met Office said it was going to rain all day, whereas the actual weather station that reports Sheffield Pike and essentially this area was saying that it's just going to be light, light showers and it's basically just going to be clear with like some sprinkles of snow. And so I was like, okay, that's a chance. Because otherwise I think the weekend following it, it's just super wet and cold. So I don't know. I tried guys. I tried. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you down this path um, and take you to the lake, Oldswater Lake, which I swam in with my friends in August, I think, or June. And that was just, oh, that was so fun. That was so nice. It was just perfect weather again. So we've just arrived at Oldswater. The boys are grabbing their bags. Probably the most beautiful drive I've ever seen. The views were just utterly incredible. Incredible. Really incredible. That was a fantastic drive. That was probably the nicest drive that I've ever done. Pretty good. Pretty warm, yeah. So yeah, I guess I guess what this video is going to be now is Harry attempts a hike, fails miserably, books a campsite, shows you around town, goes to the pub, wait for it all to blow over. And then potentially tomorrow, if I get up early enough, I can show you around Ambleside as well, and maybe a bit of Bowness on Windermere. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. It just depends on how much time I've got, because I've only got like, well, it's a four hour journey back home for me, so. Indeed. Nice pull up handle there. Ah, oh, my foot's getting wet. <laughs> oh, no. At least you guys can just watch me suffer, I suppose. That's that's the only upside to, to this for you guys. For Harry today, it's a lose-lose, I'm afraid. But, I don't know, we'll try and make something interesting out of this. It's just annoying, because I wanted to make this a really cinematic video. I was going to use the Osmo Pocket 3, uh, get some really cool B-roll shots, close-ups, uh, wide landscapes and things like that. Time lapses as well, with the stars came out, with the snow, and... <sighs> that would have been incredible. But alas, I can't. Um, the Osmo Pocket 3 isn't waterproof. But luckily the GoPro looks all right with the crack that it suffered last time. I guess there's always a silver lining, the GoPro 7 silver lining.
I found peace and quiet on a bench that overlooked Oswater. As a broken man, I reflected on the day and saw a positive outcome for the rest of this soggy adventure. Even though the weather has just kind of panned out the way I didn't want it to, I think even just sitting here kind of getting kind of wet and cold, just overlooking clouds that are sweeping across a mountain top, rain that's hitting the water and just birds that are flying by and even just the wind in the trees. This place is still really, really like picturesque, really beautiful. Um, and yeah, like it's still really peaceful as well. And it's just nice to kind of, I guess just reflect on things. I guess maybe that's the fun of like adventure is that my plan didn't work out, but at the end of the day, I'm still here. I'm still doing something. I'm still experiencing this place for what it is, no matter what the weather is. Uh, maybe I'm not up a hill, but I'm still having fun. I'm still outside. I have a place to sleep tonight and the views are just spectacular and it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just something about this place. I've just, I've just got a big love for the Lake District, to be honest. Yeah. Even if the adventure didn't go the way I wanted it to, I, th I think I can still get somewhat of a good video out of this. I, w I, w I want to up each video that I make. I want to make every single video better, like the next one better. But sometimes you can't do that, and that's a fact that I just need to accept. Later on, I'm gonna be in a nice warm pub. I'm gonna have dry clothes on. And yeah, my tent might be wet on the outside once I set it up. But it shouldn't be freezing conditions. I've got a hot water bottle. I've got an Udi as well. <laughs> somehow, somehow I managed to fit fit my Udi that my mum got me for Christmas in my in my in my backpack. Because I was yeah, I was too concerned that my sleeping bag wouldn't hold up in the freezing temperatures. So I think I'm going to be all right tonight. It's an adventure. Just heading back to the car now. It's too wet. Too wet to do anything. I'm soaked. So yeah, I'm just going to get into some dry clothes. Or get as dry as I can. I'm going to head to the campsite, see if I can check in early. And then go to the pub and warm up. So yeah, we'll just see how things go. I just... I just want to be dry now. It just keeps on raining. Ugh. I returned to the car with the prospect of a warm, cosy pub beckoning me, so I journeyed onwards. To my surprise, the campsite offered a semblance of comfort, complete with amenities and fellow adventurers seeking refuge. Knowing the pub was nearby, it was a beacon of warmth and cheer, a respite I eagerly wanted to embrace after pitching my tent if I could pitch my tent. We're at the campsite, <laughs> it's actually quite cool. Uh, it's actually turning into quite a fun adventure, to be honest. I haven't gone to a campsite on my own before, it's mad. But look at the views. Look at that. Insane. And then over there. And then there's a massive hill up there. Okay, now I just need to get the tent set up. Um, I don't know where I want to pitch the, ooh, that's all waterlogged, so I'm not gonna go on there. Mm. I think I just need to um, I need to figure out where I want to go. I might just go right behind the car. Ah, horrible weather. Hello and welcome back to Harry Rambles. This time I'm in the car. I'm in the campsite. Yeah, people are just desperately trying to set up their tents, <laughs> which is that's going to be me in a minute. Um, annoyingly, because this Osmo isn't waterproof, what I'm going to have to do is put you underneath the car and then you're just gonna have to watch me, but it'll track me and that's the best I can do. Sorry, it's too wet. So yeah, let's just get this tent up as soon as I can. Um... Okay, right. Let's just get this tent up as quick as I can because it's cold, wet and windy and this is gonna be my shelter for the night. Oh dear Lord. I've got some nice new pegs as well to use. 
This is gonna be soaking wet. La 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 la. Turn it around, I think. You know what? Doesn't matter which way around it goes. Just need to get my tent up. Well, there's a nice rock there. Horrible weather. Why did I decide to do this? You're an idiot, Harry. Oh, I've got some. Silly me. Ugh. I hate to say it, guys, but I've given up. My remaining optimism crumbled when the seemingly flat ground proved impossible for tent pegs. Soaked and defeated, my tent lay flat on the ground. The final blow to an already challenging day. I think I knew all along, deep down, that today wasn't meant to be. What I can take from all of this, though, is that whilst the journey may not have ended as planned, the hardest part to anything is making the first step in trying. I got myself outside, determined, and where things went wrong, I worked hard to salvage any remnants of positivity I could to make this day a fun one. I've absolutely just given up on this one. I thought we could get that tent up ASAP, but every peg that I put in the ground, and I've moved the tent, I've moved the tent, every single point where I wanted to just put a peg in the ground, there's just a rock, there's gravel or something like that. I just can't get the tent pitched. I don't know how these guys have done it. Don't know what pegs they're using. Don't know how these guys have done it. But I've given up. It's all just... What I thought was going to be just a nice fun trip is just essentially turned into disaster. So. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this shit reminds me of like my first solar hike where I was crying in the tent. But no, this is just shit. You expect a campsite to be able to, you know, camp on. Why can't I pitch a tent here? And there's no point me just keep moving my tent around because it's just gonna get wetter and wetter. And my morale just went so, bye. There's no shame in knowing when you're defeated. And just remember, embrace the outdoors, push your limits, have fun, and just most importantly, stay safe. <laughs> and check the weather. I hope you all have a lovely year ahead and I'll see you on the hills. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Check out my other hiking videos too. They're pretty cool.